All right, so we're here with the winners' finals of the amateur bracket. Uh, that's those that uh, didn't make it through pools; they went into their own tournament, which is the amateur bracket. Uh, currently, in, in winners' finals, we have Intercent Toast and Zorgmaster. So we've got a Falco against an Ike. All right, I have put I played against Zorgmaster's Ike. It hurts. It's like extremely painful. He does really good combos. He loves to punish and chase you down. He's quite an aggressive. Very aggressive Ike. Yeah. Like to think that Ike's a really small character. I mean I I play Rob who has a really good matchup against Ike. Like it's not an easy matchup for Ike to win. I thought there's amazing. Like with like Ike can do things like uh, you do like down tilt to uh, forward air, things like that. Like, he, he does have some really good combos. And his smash attacks hit really hard as well, like, they can kill really early. A problem though with uh, Zodmaster is that he does like to do neutral B as a punish when you're trying to recover. Which isn't really the best option he, he has, so he might end up slow and pawn edge guarding not be able to do as much. But as we said, he is done one stop. And losing his percentage. Yeah. Also, with Toast, uh, Toast also plays Peach. Uh, I think, I think, Fal I, can't I, don't, I can't remember which way around it is. He even mains Peach and secondary Falco all the other way around. But uh, he does also have a Peach, I don't know. So. I think I've seen him play against uh, an Ike as Peach. Right. Doesn't favor as well. Because of Ike's like, huge sword and a lot of damage, and you can output. Definitely Falco is a better choice yeah. against Ike. I need to find out what this uh, result is. Alright, it's fine. I'll just keep talking about this game. It's worth 102% on Ike, 104% on Ike, off the head's But Falco gets hit at the up B. Currently, we're just weighing each other out. For Mitchell's games, Randy forward smash, dash attack on two, Ike. Ike on 120%, up smash, that's gonna kill Ike. Cool. Two <laughs> <Who's that? laughs> Toast looking demanding against Zordmaster. Alright, some about uh, as you said, Toast winning game one. I've not seen Zordmaster change, but I think if he keeps up like this, that's gonna have a serious stage change or is this is gonna go terribly as well. So the previous one only had one platform. Alright, so we're going to uh, Pound to Pound Temple, Temple. Omega. Okay. It's usually the uh, like what people prefer over Final Destination, because on Final Destination you can't really see that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff in the background. This is, this is nice. This, this is nicer and bright. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> so much here for Toast. This is of course best of three. In the, uh, best no, sorry, best of five. It is best of five here. Yeah. Winners finals. Oh, he's playing Falco. Can we get a laser reset? <laughs> <laughs> Falco is leading. Shout outs to the title of Rookie Laser Reset. Arrow reset type thing, like. You got what? Arrow reset. Arrow reset. That should be the next time. Do you think uh, do you think Ike favours the no platforms against Falco? Um I mean, Look, I remember I don't know that much about Ike. I don't know. Again, like just uh, Swordmaster just might like Final Destination. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's always, yeah, always yeah. player yeah. over character. This has been so good. I was playing yeah. with Magi, like he, yeah. you know, Bowser Jr. isn't a good character, but he makes you look top tier, like, easily. Like, the stuff he does. Yeah, he obviously. <laughs> but that, but the, on this game, Falco, you think Falco, like, you think Toast has, like, Zordmaster's number? Like, knows how Zordmaster plays, and he's able to punish him very well. I'm not too sure who the last doing builds, but, uh, Again, both his both his characters aren't characters you see very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they aren't very used characters. Um, Obviously, both not very like, high tier. Like the, literally, the only high player is a guy called Rio. Um, oh, jobs. Um, oh, I missed that bro. Falco has a guy called Kitaro. Uh, There's a guy from NDVA called Osiris. Oh, that's about it. Like, <laughs> I don't there think there uh, isn't many I don't think Zordmaster's happy with the combos of Falcon. He, he did it. <laughs> He's so <laughs> mad about the forward air. The salt is real. Yeah. The salt is real. But he gets uh, his own forward yeah, yeah. air into Falco. Yeah. Alright, one stock each. Alright, sixty eight percent though on the uh, uh, Zordmaster. Right. Right. If you're a Zordmaster now, should we go try, for a graphic? He's, He's trying to shine the recovery as well. I don't actually know if that works. I mean I'm guessing it does. It works in Smash. It works in melee. 
Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, but Falco's really broken in melee. But ain't Falco. But this isn't the real Falco. This isn't melee Falco. This is Smash 4 Falco. This is Smash 4 Falco. Yeah, no way near his goal. I don't know. Oh, he misses. Is this the upper? There's percentage on Ike, though. If only Falco was like uh, like he is in melee. In Smash 4. Oh, that back throw, though. That distance on back throw. That's a good much, uh, much rage. He tries good to, side uh, beam. He, he, yeah, he tries to trade with the side beam, doesn't quite work. Grab. I don't think he missed time. Oh, he misses the neutral beam. <laughs> right, so both, both players kind of looking for the kill. I mean, I can rage is really scary. So, I can rage. They're, they're both Definitely, uh, if he gets knocked off to the far right or left, he still has the side beam. It covers huge horizontal di distance. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's going to take care. 1-1. One, one. Now it's a best of three. Some people who are and it's like melee as well. All right. Ike offering towards no no platforms. So, so if I'm toast, I go battle. Go. You're definitely one with platforms. You want platforms? Right. Best of five. Best of five. Just double checking. Yeah, best of five. This one. Right. If you're toast. Tansi also pretty good. Had to platform. I'm not sure. Like Tansi is a good stage for uh, for Falco. Just because he can kill with the up air, like kill off the top. Uh, Tansi has a low ceiling, that makes it good. And they go back to they go back to the temples. Omega temples. Pilot in the temples. You think Toast just wants like he just wants a victory on this, just like a comfort stage. He believes he can win it. He might really like the stage, you know. Yeah. 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 Little uh, Palutena uh, statue in the background. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think uh, I think Toast did do well, but, um, and it kind of surprised me that he didn't win, you know, in the end. So. Oh, well, he's trying to combo him off the off the edge. Does get a nice twenty-three percent though, but does get punished with a fifty-four of his own. Oh, the Alcaraz. Zoro Master, he looks completely Zoro different. Yeah, Zoro Master seems to be adapting really well. He looks completely different than he was Harry in the first game. Carrying him with affairs, looking like a sheep out here. It's like he's playing Melee and Mars. <laughs> Carrying him with affairs. Right, he's so got Jump down top, that's nice. Again, now Nutsuar. Falco does seem to be more partial towards doing the Nutsuar dead guard, right? Instead of going for something like an, a forward air. Oh, that's back out of the That's good kill. All right. Ike, 98%. He's getting close to that rage now. He's going to hurt a lot. Start dishing out, dishing out a lot of damage for the. Back, back out on Falco in Smash 4. Back out's really good. He just, he's just a really small hitbox, so it's hard to hit. But well, there's a lot of not that. Yeah, so. it does. But he does hit his boss. Yeah, that's like Render over there, the uh, down tilt to fall there. The crosser is though. He's trying to go for a grab. 55% on the toast. There's pressure. He's definitely getting some free damage. Yeah, I, I can definitely outrange uh, Falco as well. Even though he's got the, he has got the laser, but like up, up close, uh, uh, Zordmaster like with his eye can outrange Falco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zordmaster seems to really up towards when Falco runs towards him to down tilt and to forward there. Seems to be his yeah. yeah. A true combo. He gets a dash attack. Good DI. Still so often towards a neutral beam as well. Edge guard. Not hitting it once yet, but it could still work. 34% of the night. Up beam. Border. I know that, that can uh, that can spike the uh, the side. Oh, he gets the back air. Not do it. Zorn Master taking lead two one. Alright, so this is a really good, uh, really good comeback yeah. from Zone Master. Yeah. Compared to, you know, the first game he oh did God. so well. Like, for, and, uh, he seems like a completely yeah, I different. Might. I thought we might see the switch to Peach for uh, <laughs> Toast. I know he does have a Peach. Zone Master feels like a completely different player. Not too, uh, part it on. is like the true combo, even though Zone Master's won twice on this now. He just. They just, they just really, I'm telling you, it's just that, that Palutena statue, they just really like it. He's, he's like, he needs to see it, he believes he'll win. But it's like giving Zordmaster power. <laughs> like that statue's giving him power, he's winning. He's like a completely different player when that, when that statue's up. So, something quite interesting is that uh, Toast being um, Josh Chicken, who is the other Peach player, uh, in Peach Dittos. 
uh, to get into this round. Uh, Just Chicken is playing at the moment and loses semis, so we'll see where she gets up to. Oh. Yeah, we can, yeah, you can see her over there. You can, we can see, <laughs> we can just slightly see her game. Yeah. She's currently winning. But, I do you think I? Do you think he picked Peach because uh, then she can just she actually still has the turnips, so the projectiles work quite well. Yeah, well, Peach like not a lot of people know how to play Peach. That's the thing. Uh, there's a guy called Slayers who plays Peach, oh. and uh, I can't remember. There's a guy in Japan who, really, who does really well with Peach. I think he's got like Usaki or something. I don't know. Do you think yeah. uh, Peach is a better matchup against Ike and Falco when you don't have black ones? Oh, oh no, does he get the power cell? Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'd say Peach was better against Ike. Oh! Peach... <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Chicken, of course. Yeah, no, beating. Just, uh, it's just Chicken winning. Right, just Jazz yeah, Chicken. Yeah. Peach win. If Peach won anyway. and won, she can win another. So anyway, in this game we've got a... Uh, he, well, just, he was even, but now... Uh, he was even, but as soon as we look away, he's lost his stop. No. This is still Toast's potentially last stop before he gets knocked down into losers. Of course, both these fighting for the, the finals. This is, the winner of this will move on to finals. The loser will drop down to feet to fight this Jazz Chicken. Yeah, the, the, the loser of this will fight Jazz Chicken. You know. So if Toast loses, that's a peach though. Yeah, another peach though. It's a replay because they've already, they've already played. Uh, and that would, so then if Toast does lose and not gets knocked down, he'll, do you think he'll win against Jazz Chicken? He did win last time. Yeah, he won last time in the peach game. So it's like a rivalry. Yeah. Like I'm saying that though, I get 111 percent right now. Oh, he doesn't have to get back. So it's going to be two to two. Last game. Uh, uh, Palatea's tempo not working well for this time for Zord Master. Already winning two in a row, so and I finally lose one. Alright, so he's going to go to uh, game five now. Back. Orange one. Orange one. Orange one. Orange one. Just getting the monies. Alright, so we're going back to Palatea's temple. Alright, they just, 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 they just... Why they did they just pick play, a man? They don't they need just, to, they just... Uh, Palatea's they just temple. really love that, uh, that Palatea statue, I'm telling you. Is it the Palatea statue? It's giving both of them power. Yeah, it is. Are these, like, shrines, though? I mean, Palatea is a goddess, so... Like, <laughs> it could work. Yeah. Currently, it's working towards... Currently, it's not like, like, like a political debate, but yeah. it's not religious in a way. It's not a religious it's the same, debate. Like, who, who is the true like follower of Palatine? Who's the true of Palatine? <laughs> I'm the true this follower. Is, this is more than just a tournament game. This is <laughs> this is a religious this following. This is a religious game. <laughs> Who's, who does Palatine like more? Is it Peach or is it Ike? Obviously, it's not Falco. <laughs> yeah, clearly not. But. Who's our favorite? So right now, uh, Toast doing uh, quite well. Lee is winning against uh, leaning in neutrals against uh, Ike. The neutral as well. The thing is, Ike can get like Ike has some really deadly combos where he can rock up damage really easily. So Toast needs to not get too like too like uh, too aggressive, too confident. Just, yeah, yeah. Can he use B man? He just needs to be. He just needs to kind of just take a back seat and <laughs> relax. Just be patient. Uh, yeah, he gets, yeah. Does go grab though. Throws the turn up. Gets another grab. Do you feel like uh, Zordmaster is doing quite badly against a Peach? Like Peach might not be his best matchup? Yeah, I think it, it, it comes down to uh, lack of matchup knowledge as well. So if Zordmaster was to drop down and yes, play another Peach. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's true. So if Zordmaster was to lose, do you think he would then might not make it through the loser finals? I mean, we'll have to see. But... And then we'd have a Peach? So to be, in the grand to be fair though, like Zordmaster has been playing a peach like in, in the past few games, so they might have a bit of a practice. As we say, then, that, then again, they, they do play uh, they do play different peaches. So as we say, that Toast does finally finish the stock onto Zordmaster. Yep. Seventy one percent. Does have a little bit of rage, you know? Can get some peach combos up. This is potentially Zordmaster's last. This is Zordmaster's last stock. Yeah, the entire tournament. Not an entire time. He's still got loser bracket. Oh yeah, yeah. He's still got loser bracket, so he can still come back from this. But no one wants to be dropped down and then have to go for a bracket reset. They want exactly, the, yeah. they want to have the comfort of having three games safety net. Toast yeah. just hovering out, being able to use that the hover. All right, jab, jab, drop. All right, jab, jab. 115% toast. You no, know, just down for a back air. Looks like counter. It's out the counter as well, yeah. 
You gotta keep, you gotta keep their distance. You see, Toe's just, Toe's just being very patient and just, you know, just knowing that one Playing safe as well. Yeah. One smash attack from Zordmaster. One, one good combo. Now got the kill percent is coming. There it is. As we see it, Ike, Ike, Ike is in rage, but it's not going to be easy. Like, but it's possible. As we say that, go there and that takes it! <laughs> Commentator's curse, not going to be possible. Zorb Master gets knocked down into the Lizard's bracket. To feed, to fight another Peach as Toast moves on to the Grand Finals. Zorb Master is going to be against another Peach. Yep, Zorb Master doesn't seem happy about it, but he's going against another Peach.